Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles. I could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation, okay? So let's see, Scorpios, what's going on with you guys? How are you guys feeling with this um, eclipse going on, y'all's sign? <laughs> okay, how are you guys feeling after the new moon? Or I think the new moon is still going. Okay, so let me know in the comments how you guys are feeling. But um, also check out my description box. I have some information there. I'm going to have the list of decks. Um, I'm going to have decks listed that I'm using in the description box below. And also my PO box is there if you guys want to send me anything. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Scorpio Spirit. What do they need to know in here at this time? What does Scorpio need to know in here at this time, Spirit? What is going on for Scorpios? Okay. I was going to use that one anyways. So, so we have hidden agendas. Pay attention to this person because they have other plans than the ones they've revealed. Okay. So somebody around you is a loser. All right. Or, I mean, it could be that they... Okay, we have Big Mad. So, <laughs> it could be that they... um have something going on that they like a surprise but i'm i don't get surprised with this here i get somebody's on some fuck shit somebody could have forged your signature on something or they they mm, they they i don't know somebody's trying to come up with a plan or something all right so you need to be aware of somebody's ass let's see what else a plan to do something Okay, a lot came out there. So we have twin sister copying someone for their work ideas, how they dress, act, and talk. Mm, broke. No money, can't pay bills, scraping up change to get by. Divine union, divorce, and self-love. This divorce card been coming out for every damn body. A lot of unions are being torn apart, honey. So we have divine union, divorce, and self-love. Hmm. So some of you guys could be leaving someone here or your divine counterpart is flip a switch it, right? For their divine counterpart, which could possibly obviously be you. So somebody here got with the impersonator. Somebody got with somebody that was wanted to be just like your ass. <laughs> and that was their, their, their agenda the whole time was to probably take you for everything that you have or take your person for everything that they had, their money, their time, their energy. So let's see, what is hidden agenda right here? I feel like somebody's really pouring back into themselves now because at first they kept listening to this person or somebody here really preys on someone and uh, fucks with their insecurities or their weaknesses, you know? Yeah, so what's hidden agendas for Scorpio? The fool, yeah, setting yourself free. Aquarius energy, yeah, setting yourself free, going towards your wish fulfillment, your happiness. So whatever somebody's hidden agenda was, clearly it didn't work. Or if it worked, it didn't last long because somebody is like breaking free. Hmm. Yeah, you're releasing some. So you're taking a risk. This is a new beginning happening in your life here, Scorpio. You're getting ready to break free from something where you can possibly feel that somebody has a hidden agenda. It could be some of you guys are really just pouring into yourself. You're focused on you. You're being selfish with your time, your energy. You're just really pampering yourself, pleasuring yourself at this time, doing things that's going to make you happy. Okay. Finally, for a change, you know, <laughs> this is what I'm getting. Yeah, but the Nine of Cups talks about a wish being granted, a wish being fulfilled, contentment, happiness. Feeling good, pleasure. What else for hidden agendas? I feel like somebody's selfish. Somebody's like really greedy, like in a bad way. Yeah, the world. Yep. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. 444 on the timer. So you guys are on the right path and you're being protected on your path. You know, if you guys have been saying 444, just know that you're doing the right thing. But the world, yeah. So this is like feeling whole within yourself again, feeling complete. 
and feeling like you don't need nobody now to complete you because you've held that codependent part of yourself or you're doing the work to do that, right? But the, the world talks about a goal being achieved, being celebrated. Yeah. Closing out a cycle. Leveling up. So this looks good. I mean, you do have somebody behind you working like behind the scene. What's this uh fool? What are you setting yourself free from? Okay, King of Swords. So it could be the need to like speak up, set boundaries. Definitely you could be going through a divorce here. Some of you guys have a court situation going on that's going to help you yeah, set yourself free. Okay, it doesn't have to be divorce for some of you. It could be something else going on in court, right? But the King of Swords, I feel like this is you standing up for yourself. Being, I feel like so, so you could be making a head over heart decision here, being logical about something. Okay, um, I feel like it makes you feel a little bit sad or hurt that you have to do this, but I feel like you you really have needed to cut someone off here and set boundaries and and be your true authentic self, be truthful, be honest, okay, about what you want to do and what's going on with you, you know. You could have air in your chart, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. What's this um world? Right, yeah, two of wands. Some of you guys could be relocating, you're moving, or you're getting ready to travel here. Some of you guys have travel travel plans that you're making. Okay. But the two of wands talks about um, anticipating something. So you could be waiting for a cycle to fully close out. That's why I feel like for some of you, it's a court situation. That could be going on. It's going to turn out in your favor if that's the case. But the two of wands talks about a strategy, a plan, or you had some type of strategy or plan to close something out. And I feel like it, it worked. You're closing it out just completely. Because that's the right thing for you to do anyway with the world. <laughs> right? You completed a cycle. This could be some type of partnership that's, that could be coming in. To, or this is just you turning your back. You're planning for your future. That's what it looks like. Some of you guys could be uh, working remotely. You could be working from home. Or you could be moving for a remote, I mean, for a job or something like that. This is nine of cups. Some of you guys are waiting to be like uh, to get off probation, or you're waiting to go somewhere like travel. It's like somebody had you bound in, in something, or where you can't like move, you can't do anything, or yeah, another card of traveling, six of swords. So things are calming down. Yeah, you're on the right path here. You're going to get what you want at the end of this journey, or like because I feel like you're almost there. And then, of course, you're going to have to level up and do something else, right? That's just how life is. But, yeah, the temperance. Yeah, balance being restored. Six of Swords is your spirit guides guiding you. Definitely closing a chapter, moving on. Things calming down, resolving an issue. Something that you didn't see about somebody with these hidden agendas. I feel like you see it now because you're setting yourself free. Or you're going to be seeing it. Right? But what's this twin sister? Hmm. Six of Wands, Two of Swords. You guys can be seeing two, two, two. So this is somebody that's like, I feel like this person here watches you. They watch you to see what everything that you're doing here. Somebody was blinded. They 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 picked either they picked the wrong person or they, I don't know. They were they were trying to figure out who's who here. <laughs> but um. Six of Wands, I feel like somebody's very confident. They get a lot of attention. This could talk about success, uh, a victory in something too, or rewards. You're, you're achieving something here with the Six of Wands. This could talk about somebody here that has high self-esteem. Just like very, I don't know, you're very well known or something like that. Somebody didn't want you to see something about someone or something. Or they don't want you to see something about someone. Flip it, switch it, right? This could be going on right now for somebody. Mm, two of swords somebody could be fucking with your like um they don't want you to get this attention or they they want to blind other people they could be talking to other people and telling them like you know this is not something just basically lying <laughs> basically basically a liar what's this twin sister with the two of swords and the six of wands 
You have to be saying 6662. Six, six, Okay, yeah, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. A dead end situation, something that's not working. Yeah, somebody here could be scamming other people using your pictures as well. Okay, definitely that. Because since somebody wants to be like you, I'm pretty sure that they're making fake pages. Most definitely that. <laughs> you know? And they're broke. They're still broke. They're still like... This person could... If you're a psychic, they could be pretending they're a psychic here. Okay, this, po this person's whole goal was to get you left out in the cold by somebody. And I feel like you did get left out in the cold by someone because they listened to this other person. Or or something like that. But the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is a dead end career. Something that's not working is, is bankrupt, is debt. Definitely somebody does a poor ass job at what they do compared to you. So I feel like whatever you're doing, this person cannot duplicate it. They can't copy it. They just, they're trying though. They are, but it's not working out for their ass. They're losing money. And they do a poor ass job with this shit. What's this Eight of Pentacles in reverse? <laughs> yeah, the tower in reverse. Scorpio energy. Definitely getting a, you're getting a victory in something here that maybe you don't see coming, but somebody else is going to lose a job or... Some type of stability. Something that somebody has been working on, it failed. With the tower in reverse, this talks about in, avoiding the inevitable. Um, trying to basically um, avoid a tower that's going to happen to regardless. So whoever this is that's doing this work, this ass backwards ass work is... Or trying to copy you or scam you in some type of way, it's not going to work for them. Something's going to fall apart to regardless. I feel like it's just going to fall apart in the worst way because they're trying to avoid it. You know, this is somebody that resists change. They want to stay stuck in the same situation. Okay, yeah, the devil. Somebody is just like... Definitely, I feel like somebody's a scam artist. They're trying to avoid a loss here. This is tower in reverse. Okay, seven of wands came out in reverse. So, yeah. <laughs> hmm. So I feel like somebody is trying to like surrender now or compromise with you but i feel like you lost respect for somebody you you're really losing respect for someone or you don't fuck with them no more or whatever but i feel like um somebody here can't justify their actions no more or they can't hide something anymore it's like they they have lost complete respect in your world maybe they got respect from other people but they lost yours though this is somebody that lacks morals and and they just i don't know they're just a mess whoever the fuck this is you know I feel like you gave up on this person or you're giving up on them because they just mm, this could talk about um somebody being exhausted and burnt out somebody's like burnt out or something is like old news whatever they're doing is not working anymore it's old it's boring it's it's not working it's not working out for them somebody here is trying to they this is talking about um somebody accepting defeat <laughs> now they want to stop whatever the fuck it is that they were doing because they're defeated. What's this Two of Swords? Yeah, the Empress. Yeah, somebody didn't want you to see that either you were the Empress. They didn't want you to see your own self-worth. They were blocking your path. or They could be trying to block other people from having respect for you. They want you to lose respect from the community. Or like they want to make you look like the bad person. And I feel like that has not worked so well for them. They, they failed miserably. They're, they're losing sleep trying to fucking do this. And they're doing a poor ass job. Because don't nobody believe this bitch or nothing. But the Empress right here, yeah. Somebody was confused about you being the, the goddamn Empress. They could have been trying to cause you fears, anxieties, or trying to block whatever you're trying to manifest here. You know? With this person or... If this was your person that was being blocked by somebody else, they were definitely trying to block you and stop you from, um, or stop that person from coming towards you. They were trying to like, um, this like obstruct your person's vision or something like that 
from seeing the truth. What's this uh, Six of Wands? Yeah, Page of Swords. So yeah, a lot of gossiping or talking here. This could be somebody, yeah, somebody studies you. They watch you. They're trying to gain more knowledge about what you're doing so they can copy off whatever the fuck you're doing to play these mind games. So somebody here is stalking you. They're watching you. They're seeing how much attention you're getting just to fucking ruin your reputation. Or this is like somebody trying to plan or strategize certain things. Yeah, and karma's going to hit their ass real bad, real hard. What's this, who's this page of swords? I feel like they're trying to figure out, well, how do you do this? Or what's what's the T? Or how do you, you know, how? Just how? How you do something, Scorpio. Okay, yeah, Knight of Swords. Hmm. So this could be somebody wanting to, they're planning, they're strategizing on how to get your attention. Somebody wants your attention. They could be a bit aggressive, very much so. Um. They play a lot of fucking mind games, this person. They could be very impulsive, very reckless, very careless. Who's this page of swords with this knight of swords? This person could be um, watching your follower count. Like they watch your followers just to DM them from a fake page or something like that. They This is weird. What's this knight of swords? Yeah, five of wands in reverse. Hmm. Let me see some. What's this five of wands right here in reverse spirit? What's this? What's this five of wands in reverse? Yeah, four of wands in reverse. Okay. So somebody somebody is like extreme, yeah. Five of wands in reverse talks about because that's why I clarified it, because they could talk about like wanting to heal something, wanting to fix something. Okay, I still feel like that's the case, right? There's somebody that's watching you online. They're watching you, the real you. You are the real you. You're the empress. So whoever this is, is watching you. They're, they're trying to rush in. They're strategizing on how to fix something with you or tell you some type of truth, right? They can have an issue with their communication, okay? It's something that I feel like somebody wants to solve or work out with you. They're, they're rushing in to talk to you and to solve a conflict after maybe moving out, getting a divorce with the four wands in reverse, uprooting, Okay, uprooting meaning maybe they changed their life or they're trying to switch some shit around so that way they can uh, reconcile with you or get a victory with you. Okay, they want to resolve something. Okay, um, and they're not they're not they don't have the support of their family members or people in their community or people around them. Okay, I feel like this person feels a bit insecure though. They still have insecurities, right? But I'm also getting to yeah, somebody's like. I'm also getting too, there's somebody else here that is a bit aggressive with you. They're planning, they're watching you, they're planning. I feel like this is just like jealousy. They're mad. Whoever this is, is mad. The five of wands in reverse could talk about extreme aggressiveness, um, being really mean. Usually it means healing something. I feel like this person wants to heal something with you, but because you're not giving in or because you don't want to talk to them and they feel like they have to do all this planning and strategizing to get your attention they're mad about it they're like mad they because they feel like they shouldn't have to do all this but they're the ones that cause all this shit so it's like what the fuck somebody like looks for an argument whoever this is, is like looking for an argument trying to distract you from moving on or moving away or this is like a cancel celebration something here got canceled i feel like somebody's mad about it somebody sees that there is no fucking competition <laughs> like yeah they see that you're this is you moving on from the bullshit you're moving on you're letting whatever this shit is go and they could be trying to plan and strategize to see if they could get you to come back or argue with you and shit like that i feel like now somebody also could like be cooperating now they could want to cooperate with you because they're losing a home they're losing some type of stability they're ungrounded right now yeah this could be somebody in your family this could talk about a dysfunctional family dynamic here. Yeah. It says, yeah, broke. Somebody could be broke. They're losing something. They're trying to avoid losing this by using your pictures or using you to scam others to keep their head above water. Somebody's like a loser. <laughs> That's crazy. What's, what's broke for Scorpio? 
Yeah, seven of swords. Yeah, stealing. Yeah. What's what's broke with the seven of swords? This is how this person makes their money. They make their money off of you. Ugh. What else for a broke? Okay. The eight of swords. Yeah. This person could be going to jail too. Or they could just be in prison in their mind. It could be multiple people too. It could be multiple people that was doing this. Friends, family members, whoever. People that you celebrate with or you're close to. But the eight of swords talks about um, feeling stuck. Feeling trapped, restricted. Feeling like you have no way out. Somebody's like stuck in an illusion that they try to keep you stuck in. That's what it sounds like to me. Somebody is, is feeling like really, really trapped. What's the seven of swords right here? Yeah, the Hierophant. Somebody could be going to jail. The Hierophant is an institution. Yeah, three of swords. Could be dealing with the Taurus. The star in reverse, Aquarius energy. So somebody in despair, feeling hopeless, losing faith. They are trying to scrape up something. They're trying to do something at the last minute to cover their ass. They're, they're in the middle of losing something, this person. Sorry, I'm a throw itch. The star in reverse. Yeah. I'm hearing somebody could have been trying to steal your gifts. You could be very gifted, very spiritual. Somebody is like dark. They've been trying to steal your shit and uh, scam others using your content or something. I'm strongly getting that. Something's not going to turn out too well for them, though. Yeah, the devil. Yeah, the high priestess. I can't make it up. Somebody's a dark spiritualist. They're trying to copy off something that you do. You're a spiritualist. You're very intuitive. Somebody else is the devil, literally. It's, it's spiritual warfare here that's going on. This could be somebody you have children with. They have been taking from you the whole time. They've been, like, really trying to ruin your, like, tarnish your reputation. So this, this, this is the type of person that makes fake pages, and they will DM you from that fake page and start talking shit about you. Like, like running your name through the mud on your timeline or to other people. Like, this is this type of person. But you would never know who it is behind the damn fake page. But I feel like now you could know, right? You could possibly know who it is. What's this three of cups? <laughs> Somebody is crazy. Yeah, seven of cups in reverse. The, yeah, five of swords, knight of pentacles, the emperor. For some of you, this is your baby daddy or your baby mama. Whew. My ear is Jesus. What's going on? Um, let me see. What's the three of cups with the seven of cups in reverse? <clears throat> the strength card. Yeah, so overcoming something. Okay, uh, showing strength, uh, being brave. <clears throat> seven of cups in reverse is like having a reality check, coming back down to real life, earth, okay, being really here and present. <laughs> okay, because I feel like um at first, somebody was not. Somebody was in a, stuck in some type of illusion about their friends or their, their inner circle is what it looks like. Somebody sees the truth of a situation now, though. So this could be somebody that wants to reconcile with you. Yeah, divine union. They see the truth of somebody's ass. Somebody's ass is being exposed. So this is somebody having the courage to um keep going and overcoming self-doubt, having confidence here. Somebody could also be trying to tame their urges because there could be some type of addictions here that somebody has. They could be trying to tame their urges here. It's like somebody has to cut back on smoking or drinking or overindulging in certain things to save up because it's like they're penny pinching. I feel like somebody doesn't really have money for real. So they're trying to um, save now. What's this uh, eight of swords? Okay, yeah, five of swords. Somebody here is just, they just play a lot of fucking mind games. They're very manipulative. They're a bully. Whoever this is is a bully. They're very nasty. This person could be going to jail. They could be going to jail for assault or really trying to harass you or bully you or something like that. But this is somebody that's trying to win at all costs and now they're stuck. Now they're trapped. <laughs> yeah. Somebody trying to hold on to the last little bit of money they got because they know something is falling apart. Hmm. What's this divine union, divorce, and self-love right here? The page of pentacles, the justice, Libra energy. What else? Something could be going on with the child in court. You guys could be um, yeah, the judgment. Yeah, somebody, something ain't going. Yeah, six of pentacles, so it's child support or something about you being gifted. <clears throat> or a gift coming towards you here 
balance being restored, equal give and take reciprocity. So whatever was unfair is now going to be made fair. You're going to get whatever the fuck it is that somebody owes you. But we have the page of pentacles in reverse, the judgment, in, I mean, page of pentacles upright, judgment in reverse, and the justice. So definitely something is, the, the judge is going to rule something in someone else's favor, which I feel like is yours. Okay, if that's the case, some truth and some clarity is going to come out here. Somebody could have falsely accused you of doing something. Could be about a child or they could have like had you on child support and you pay your, you pay your child support on time or you really take care of your child. You know, you do what you have to do. You give the your child's mother finances because it's like, well, damn, your child lives with the mother or something like that. You know how co-parenting goes. The child lives with the mother most of the time. Majority of the time, that's what it is. For some of you, it could be vice versa, right? And this person doesn't want to pay child support. I mean, they don't want to give you any money for keeping a roof over the child's head or um, giving them money for clothes and shoes for school or whatever the fuck. So I feel like if this person wasn't doing that, they're going to have to pay up, right? But the judgment in reverse is definitely um, no second chances, not going back to something. Definitely something ruling in your favor. Yeah, because you're getting a divorce. So if you have children with this person, something is going to... Um, be balanced with your children now but like something is more stable more secure i'm hearing something about documents so really save your save documents or receipts here if you have receipts to show the court to show and prove that you've been doing what you're supposed to do or something like that but yeah somebody has been loyal been doing what the fuck they're supposed to be doing and somebody else is like mad about it they're they're mad that that's coming out about they lose their ass that they haven't been doing what the fuck they're, they're needing to do yeah so so it's definitely the page of pentacles talks about good news a raise a promotion or more money coming in definitely um jumping in at an opportunity not procrastinating on it anymore what's this ju uh, judgment in reverse this is karma too judgment in reverse something is finally going to be made fair the king of pentacles in reverse yeah somebody's losing money somebody's losing hella money hella money for their greediness their selfishness okay it could be a masculine here it could be a man that's a taurus virgo capricorn even though that's feminine energy so for some of you it's a feminine okay but it could be a man right that's those signs but king of pentacles in reverse some type of father figure here could be losing money or like this is a, a collapse of an empire this is talking about somebody that's very greedy. They're selfish. They only care about themselves, whoever this is. Very materialistic, superficial. This is all they really care about. And when they don't get their way, they act a fool. This person could definitely be a cheater. Definitely that. What else for the judgment in reverse with the king of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, ten of wands. Burden. Stress. Way the fuck down. I feel like you got fed up with this person's bullshit. You are fed up with their bullshit. Yeah, and you're done, period. You're walking away. This is your final and last straw with this Ten of Wands. Something is finally closing out. Whatever this was that was burdening you with this person is closing out for good. And this person is going to have to live with their, their decisions. Whatever decision they made to screw you over or, or fuck you up, it's, it's they're losing it. They're losing everything. This person could be going bankrupt and everything. What's this justice card up right, right here? Yeah, the sun. Yeah, something's going to turn out in your favor. Yeah. The hierophant, an institution, getting advice, maybe talking to a mediator or somebody that can help mediate your situation here. But with the Sun Leo energy, yes, yeah, something's going to rule in your favor. It is. And it's going to bring about happiness, freedom, success. I feel like you're more so going to feel free. Something here where you're going to feel very much so free and happy. Definitely about your children. If you have children with them, I'm strongly getting that. What's this page of pentacles? Yeah, knight of pentacles. Yeah, will of fortune. The high priest is will of fortune. Yeah. So your hard work paying off. <clears throat> I feel like something has been moving slow for a while, but your hard work paying off. This is this is you um showing dedication, pushing forward, staying loyal to your journey in this path even though it could be a little bit hard or tough because everything is moving slow and i feel like all you're trying to do is build something solid for your children in your life and just be happy and somebody else is mad because they're miserable as fuck they've probably been trying to slow divine union down for some of you this is an offer coming in 
from your divine counterpart. They want to build something with you. They want to finish something that they started. They've leveled up here. They went from the page to the night, which is, I feel like, much better than the page. They, they went from learning to actually leveling up. And they did what they're supposed to do here. You know? This is somebody that got more than what they had at first. Shit. Yeah, so let's see. This is somebody that's going to be loyal, dependable, reliable. You know, they still work on themselves, but I feel like that's good, you know. So let's see. Or this is just something about your work, your finances growing, or you being more stable than you were before. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is clouded mind. Find order amidst confusion. You have to make a tough decision. Quiet the mind and let your soul speak. Yeah, so some of you guys could be clouded right now. You could, or this could be what has happened here. Because whatever this cloudy vision is, I feel like it's not you. It's backfiring on somebody else. Somebody had you like that. What else for Scorpio? Listen to your intuition, though. All right, yeah, so we have manipulation. Figure out the true motives. Yeah, shed light on what is concealed. Wait for more to be revealed. Yeah, so you could be confused right now because there's something else that's going to come out. Okay, maybe you don't even know about it. Maybe maybe you think that you know everything about this person, but you don't. You know? So it says blessings. Yeah, abundance is on its way. Luck surrounds you now. You're on the right path. Thank you for the confirmation, Spirit, because I said that you should be on the right path with me saying 444, four, and you are. So we have fantasy. An escape from rea reality. Fantasies are mirroring your desires. Don't just wish your life away. Yeah. So somebody with the seven of cups in reverse, they're not. They're not anymore. They see something for what it is. Or this is you, right? Yeah, so we have euphoria. Melancholy as seductive as ecstasy. The first stages of falling in love, a feeling that collapses time. Hmm. Then we have romance. Somebody's in love with you. This is like somebody really being in love with you. They've been manipulated, though, whoever this was, or this is you, right? You've been manipulated by somebody. But we have romance. Your feelings are worth exploring, attracting a new romantic partner, and growing deeper feelings. Yeah, then we have dog spirit. Steadfast commitment is needed. You will soon find your path. Be loyal and true to your goals. Yeah, so somebody here is coming in to be loyal to you. You know, this person, whoever this is, they want to be with you genuinely. <clears throat> but they have to get rid of somebody first or this is you right you could have could have to do the same thing if you have a karmic around if your divine counterpart has a karmic you damn sure do have a karmic your damn self <laughs> you do so this was your reading scorpio i hope it resonated um like comment subscribe definitely don't forget to look in the description box below for more information um and i'll talk to you guys later bye